What's going on guys? If you guys watched my last video, you saw a teaser that I put in there for a lighting video that I'm going to do. That's what this video is all about. On a previous video, I had a comment from a user named Dip Dip Animations. He asked, could you please make one of the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon logo? So when I read this comment, I got really excited about it because I know everybody knows what this logo looks like, right? So I did some tinkering around with it and I really, really liked the result that I got from it. And um, I really hope you guys like the result as well. So let's get right into the video and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So to create this effect, what we have to do is we're going to start with a static layer just like this. Select all keys and make them really dark. I'm going to make them a really like, I'm going to pull it to white here and I'm make them a dark gray, real dark gray. I want to make them even darker than that. I'm going to slide it down real close to zero. So now that we have a mostly dark keyboard, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the, the uh, picture for you guys. And so you guys can see what that looks like. So this is what we're working with here. You got the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon logo. You got where a beam of light comes in, goes through the prism, and outshines like a rainbow effect, okay? And if you look at this rainbow here, it just so happens that it has six colors. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six colors coming out of the backside. Well, on a keyboard, it just happens to have six lines six horizontal lines you got one two three four five six which ends up being perfect for this logo so it was made for a keyboard so back to razor synapse and we are going to make the triangle or the prism we're going to select the keys for this uh, we have our static selected and we're going to hold control we're going to select alt we're going to select this key here right next to m comma key we got k I, 8, F6, F5, 6, T, T, F, C, and we're going to select the space bar. And that's it. That's our triangle right there. So we're going to color these bright white, as bright white as we can get. So everything here is a 255 or F, 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 just three or six Fs in your hex code. Next, we're going to start the beam of light. And what we want in this effect is we want to make it with a wave. That way it's kind of like shining light. You know, it's got movement and stuff to it. With Synapse 3, you can make all of these waves part of one effect layer. That way they're all in sync. Now with Synapse 1, which is what I originally uh, did this design on and the design you'll see in my Insta Instagram profile, you have to create a different layer effect for each color that you're going to make a wave. It makes it a lot more work to do it that way, but it can still be done on an older version. So that is a positive thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the uh, beam of light going through as well as the uh, going through the prism. So we're going to go ahead and start with a wave effect. Click on wave. So with this wave, we're going to select our beam of light going in. So we have... I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select these li this line right here. I'm actually going to go over the F key. I'm going to take that F key as well. I'm going to take G, H, N, U, J, M. I'm going to take all those keys and that's going to be my uh, light beam going in. We're going to take this, our wave, and we're going to make it a three-tone wave. Okay, so you got three nodes here. Your bright color is going to be bright white as bright as it gets so you got six f's in the hex code outside colors are going to be a darker darker white just a darker shade something like this and what you're going to do is you're going to copy this hex code and go to your other node and just paste in that code again that way it's the same and hit we're going to take a look at our speed here. Angle's good, everything's good, and we're going to hit save. So right here, we're going to separate from older Synapse versions. 
If you have an older version of Synapse, you're going to want to create a new wave and and do one for each color. You're going to want to create a new wave at this point right now. I'm going to go off of Synapse 3. So uh, with Synapse 3, you can keep the same wave selected and choose this top line here, everything right of the prism. We're going to go to color, three color gradient. In the middle, we're going to have red, which is the top color coming out of the prism. So we have our red. We're going to go to the outside nodes and we're just going to color these red. And we're just going to drag it down until it's a darker tone. And we're going to copy this hex code and paste it in on the other node. Everything's good. Hit save. With Chroma Synapse 3, you can see how this dark fade, it, they're in sync. Like even the white is in sync with the red up there. You see how the dark, it continues through the other colors. Next one is going to be orange. So this is also going to be three tone and we're just going to keep this middle node here orange and we're going to do the outside nodes in orange and color it dark and you're going to do this for same the same for every color here hex code hex code awesome and now staying with the same wave, we're going to move on to yellow. I'm going to take the yellow outside, going to do yellow and color it or move it darker. Copy the code, paste the code. Next line, we're going to hold control six, five, four, and then we can drag here. Got all that line selected and choose our color three tones. This one's going to be green, or I'm just going to keep it here on green. Outside's green, and you're going to pull it dark. Copy the hex code, paste the hex code, and hit save. Choose our color, three tones. This one's going to be blue. I do. I choose a light blue here, and probably can drag it just a little bit darker somewhere like right there that's what you want but we're actually going to take this color that we created right here copy the hex code go to this node paste the hex code here and then pull it darker copy the code again go to this node paste the code good hit save and we're getting real close here last line so here you can just select and drag over all of these keys three tone color middle one you're going to choose violet i'm just going to use this one right here uh, let's drag it a little bit more towards the purple i'm going to drag it right there that looks good and i'm going to copy this code we created paste it on the end node drag it a little bit darker Copy that code again, go to the opposite side, paste that code, and hit save. And then that's it. So that's all there is to it, guys. This design is done. Dip Dip Animations, I hope you guys liked my version of this logo. I like it a lot. I think it looks really clean. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. I have a lot of ideas brewing for future videos and that you guys are not going to want to miss. So stay tuned to check them out. You can find me on social medias. You can find me on Instagram at unrealhero underscore. Or you can find me on Twitter at unreal underscore hero. And you can also find me on Twitch at unrealhero underscore. Four nights a week. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Thursday and Saturday. You guys don't want to miss that either. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.